More than 20,000 bus drivers will walk out on Friday in a row over pay during the Games. Union leaders say unless the mayor settles the dispute, there'll be more strikes to come. Good evening. We start with accusations that Boris Johnson is putting politics ahead of the success of the Olympics and that Londoners will pay the price. They come from the union Unite and it centres on a row about Friday's bus strike. In three days' time, thousands of bus drivers are expected to walk out to back their claim for a £500 Olympic bonus. No peace talks are scheduled before then, and union leaders say that's because the mayor wants to take them on. The details now from our Olympic correspondent, Simon Harris. A confusion also tonight over this no-fly zone. Has it started? The family of Surrey cricketer Tom Maynard, who died on train tracks in West London, has described his death as devastating. They've also thanked well-wishers for their messages of support that they've received. Earlier today, England and West Indies cricketers held a minute's silence in his Next this evening, she was turned away from her local hospital twice after complaining of feeling ill. A few days later, she was dead. The family of Maddie Maddox, who, who was 53, are now taking legal action after the mother of two suffered a massive stroke. Her husband claims doctors at Darent Valley Hospital in Dartford dismissed her complaints of feeling ill because she had a history of depression. The NHS Trust, though, says its doctors acted properly. Tom Savides has this report. The Olympics will see one of the youngest royals compete in the oldest royal park. Zara Phillips, of course, the Queen's granddaughter, is part of the British equestrian team, which will be in action in Greenwich Park. Well, she and other members of that team have been in the park this afternoon. So too is our reporter, Rhea Chatterjee, and she's still there now. Rhea. Rowers have played a big part in Team GB's success at recent Olympics and hopes are high that they'll contribute to the medal tally at London 2012. If they do, chances are they'll have come from a club in Surrey, which has been a breeding ground for Olympic medalists. Molesey Boat Club boasts a history going back almost 150 years to when it was founded and six of its members have been selected for London's Olympics, as Phil Bales now reports.